Welcome to the Futures Lab. So today we're going to try something a bit challenging. We're going to create a system that's going to randomize the order of the attacks. Um, the pirate, the teacup and the drummer attack. And we're going to use lists to do this. So if you're already happy with your game and you don't need the attacks to be randomized, then don't worry about today's session. But if you're up for a challenge, follow this Let's see how we go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create a list. So we're going to go to variables and we're going to click on make a list. We're going to call this list attack order. And then we're going to go to my blocks and we're going to click on make a block. And we're going to call this block randomize attacks. So drag off define randomize attacks somewhere by itself. I'm going to zoom this in so it's nice and big. And we're going to put some code into here. So first of all, we're going to have this list keep track of which attacks we have and haven't done yet um, and remove them from the list once they're done. Uh, this is going to mean that all of the attacks get done in a random order, but we're always going to do all of them. So if we did this as a random number generator, it might be that we just did the teacup attack over and over and over again, and the other attacks didn't get done as much. This way, it's nice and even between all the attacks, but they always come in an order that you don't quite expect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to control, and we're going to get an if then else. We, as because we're going to be deleting attacks from this, we need to see how many attacks are left in the list left to do. So we're going to go to operators and we're going to get an equals operator. Then we're going to go to variables and we're going to get a length of attack order line here. So we need to know if, and then we're going to click on that 50 and type in zero. So we need to figure out if there are zero items left in our list. If there are, we need to add three attacks to the list. So we need to add thing to attack order. And click on thing and type in pirate. And then we're going to add another one. And that's going to be teacup. Then we're going to add another one, and that's going to be drummer. Now we're going to use a variable to keep track of which attack is next. So we're going to just zoom, we're just going to just scroll up a bit and click on make a variable and call this one next attack. Okay. So what we need to do now is get a set variable, click on that white triangle, make sure the variable that we're setting is set next attack variable. And we're going to set it to resting. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, we're going to go to my blocks and drag out a resting block. So what we're going to do now is if there are um, attacks in the attack order list, we're going to start um, uh, changing that next attack variable to be a random item from the list. So go to variables, get a set the next attack variable to. And then what we're going to do is, so we need to choose a random one of these three items that we've, these th uh, that we've put into the list. So what we're going to do is we're going to get um, item one of attack order. So because then what we can do, that's, so if, um, so if the list has three items in it, just like this, you can see 
We've got three items in our attack order, pirate, teacup, and drummer. But each of them has a number, item one, item two, item three. And the length of the list is three. So we want to um, choose a random one of these numbers. Now the problem is, is that we're going to start deleting. We could say pick random one to three, but then the random one to three doesn't work very well if we start deleting items from this list. So we need to go to operators, get out a pick random one to ten, drop it in that item one, and instead of typing in three for the largest number, we're going to go back to variables and we're going to look down until we find something called length of attack order. That is going to be the number of items that we have in attack order. As you can see, there are three items in this list. The length is three. So now what we should have is set next attack to item pick random one to length of attack order of attack order. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see all of this in one screen. It looks complicated, but it makes sense if you just sort of follow it through logically. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to delete that item from the list. So get um, delete one of attack order. Now, here's the issue. We can't look for the name of the item we want to delete. So um, we have to delete the number first. Uh, we have to figure out what the number is. So once we have delete one of attack order, we're going to grab item, and then there's like a hashtag of thing in attack order. Drag that out and put it over the one. And we're going to then grab, going to scroll up a little bit on the left side and drag out next attack variable and put it over the word thing. So now you should have delete item hashtag item. So that's the item number. I say hashtag because it looks like a hashtag, but that's a, a, a symbol that in this case means number. Item number of next attack in attack order. Seems complicated, but basically the first line chooses a random item left from the list and the next line deletes specifically the item that our, our variable um, next attack is now set to. So we've got all of this code that randomizes the attacks. It deletes the attacks from the list once they've been done. And once the list goes down to length zero, i.e. nothing is left on the list, it repopulates it with the pirate, the teacup, and the drummer. And it also makes sure to do a rest. So what we need to do now is we need to go and find this piece of code here when green flag clicked. Um, and it's got underneath it um, eventually the forever with our resting teacup attack, pirate attack, and drummer attack. This is basically our sort of master control code that has all of our functions in it that control which attacks get done when. So we need to make sure, first of all, that at the beginning of the game, we delete everything from the list. If there's anything left on the list, it needs to be deleted. So look for delete all of attack order and put that right underneath the when green flag clicked. Then have a look at that forever. Drag out everything inside it for now, that resting teacup attack, pirate attack, drum attack. And we're going to get an, we're going to go to my blocks and we're gonna drag out our randomize attacks and put it on, on top. So this is going to run the code that randomizes our attacks, generates the list and sets the variable next attack to be the word either pirate or the word teacup or the word drummer. So now what we need to do is we need to go to control, get an if, then put it right underneath the randomize attacks right here and then go to operators, get a equals operator, go to variables, 
drag out your next attack variable because we're asking the question what is the next attack variable saying so click on that 50 type in pirate and then drag the pirate attack inside there so now we've got there if next attack equals pirate then do the pirate attack copy that whole bit of code two more times and rename where it says pirate to drummer and teacup and then I've got some things I don't need anymore so now this is your completed code we've got forever randomize attacks if next attack equals pirate then do the pirate attack if next attack equals drummer then do the drummer attack if next attack equals teacup then do the teacup attack let's see if that works shall we so I'm gonna hit my cheat code so the next attack is resting and you can see uh, so the next attack is teacup and so you can see it's doing the teacup attack and there's two items left in the list the next, then the next attack is the pirate and it's us doing the pirate attack and there's only one thing left on the list and then the next attack should be the drummer and it's emptied out the list now let's see what happens when it finishes all the drummer attacks what should happen is it goes to resting and repopulates the list and starts again there we go so there we have something fairly sophisticated and something that will scale up pretty well if you want to add more and more um, types of attacks if you want to use this code to trigger other types of behavior sort of trigger other types of AI randomizing lists and that kind of thing then you can the other thing that uh, the only other thing you might want to do with this um, uh, project is maybe make the boss health variable disappear at the beginning of the game and only appear once the boss is activated. I'll let you see if you can figure out how to do that in particular. Otherwise, that should be um, everything that we've done for this project so far. And uh, that should be everything that we need to do for this project. Um, let me know uh, how your boss battles go. I really enjoy boss battles in video games. So this was a blast for me to do. I very much enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it too. I hope it's useful. Um, I shall see you guys in the next series. Um, as always, check out the description for a list of in-person coding events that we're running um, in uh, City of Swan Libraries as part of the Futures Lab project. Aside from that, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and we'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves.